The sense of anticipation as you head to your high seat is one of the best feelings a hunter can have. Before you is a forest full of game, and it's just you, a rifle, a bullet, a scope, and a small arc of fire. We are at the Zeiss Media Hunt, where the German optics company welcomes the great and good to look at what's in the pipeline. It's a bit of a tradition and one we've covered before. This year everyone seems to have a video camera, so look out for lots of versions of this huge driven hunt on YouTube. Some of the cameras are truly amazing. Some products are already in the public domain, others will remain undercover until the big trade shows in Europe and America in early 2017. After the factory, it's the range. There's about half a million pounds worth of hardware here. Each hunter gets allocated a new Zauer 404 Synchro XTC with carbon stock, with Zeiss V8 1.8 to 14 by 50, known as the ultimate all-rounder. Talking about ultimate all-rounders, we're joining professional deer manager Paul Childerly on this particular hunt. We have two drives over two days, each lasting three hours. Six hours of focus and concentration. We've got 360, all safe, all round. Christmas tree plantation in the front of us. A little ride atop, right below. Bank dropping down. There's a, there's a, a big grass, open the valley through the middle there. Be perfect for pheasant shooting. You walk over there, driving the pheasants over there. But we're not that today, we're on, on the grindstone. Big thicket through there as well. I think they're going to head to this thick Christmas tree, so we hopefully have a bit of span there. But on the way up and behind us in this beech leaf, there's loads of like um, movement and paths and digging from bores. So it's going to be good. <gasps> a bit frosty. I'm ready, come on. Before the dogs are released, the forest still moves. Shots are fired in neighbouring stands, and a road doe appears behind us, but Paul doesn't have a clear shot. The dogs are now on the move, and they push out a sounder of boar. Paul squeezes off a 70-yard shot. It looks good and feels good, but we can't leave the seat to check. Then a fox comes out in front. Paul makes no mistake as the shot cam shows. Festive beaters come into view and Paul explains what's just happened. The beaters and, the, and one of the keepers have just come through and with all the dogs and uh, obviously picking the game as they go through. And uh, we shot a nice German red fox up here, which we see was laid there, but earlier on, at the bore at the bottom of these, these thick trees down here and um, as we shot it disappeared behind the trees and uh, I went to have a look for it and the heart was pounding because uh, they didn't find it straight away, it had gone back in there, right back, it's like another it's like 100, 100 yards back so we have the thumbs up so yes, Whew. exhilarating, red stag come through, foxes come through, two packs of boar come through, roe deer all around us and it's been absolutely brilliant. I'm a happy boy. German red fox and a, a boar. <laughs> Running boar, there. No. Running boar, yeah, in, in a hard situation between the trees, so yeah. Yes. <laughs> On other stands, boar slip across the ride and foxes fall. On others like mine, I'm not seeing a lot. Meanwhile, back in the part of the forest we call the empty quarter, nothing has yet appeared. I did have a better day yesterday, and you can see that in 360 glorious degrees. 
thanks to my friend the 360 degree camera behind me but I still love it today even though there's nothing to shoot because there could be at any moment there could be something it's not like a fill your boots pheasant shoot where there will be something there could be at the end of the drive it's a boar and a fox for Paul it's nice light colour um, hit him right in the front end yeah quite a lot of damage but uh, we don't eat foxes so it's okay I just come down to uh, where I shot that wild boar that comes through here. Um, it's quite deceiving distances. I mean, it's 60, 62 paces. I thought it was a little bit further than that. Um, but yeah, it should be just out here somewhere. This open area, is nice grass open area. But you see the, the damage the wild boar done on this, on this headland side. Imagine if this was crop. It's absolutely ruined. Right. Um, turns out this is a, uh, a female, bigger female, but as you see on on, uh, on film, it wasn't the leader of the, the group. There was a bigger female leading the group, and uh, this is like the one in the middle. Um, yeah, no, I'm really pleased with it. It's black back slightly, but dead animal, and uh, very happy boy. Paul embarks on his first boar gralic with his Emberleaf knife combo. Meanwhile, in other parts of the forest, the trackers are out ensuring all animals are accounted for. It's a vital part of the day and the map coordinates the efforts. Back at the meeting point, we find out what's new in the world of Zeiss. Probably three months ago, we launched the Gavia, the spotting scope, the 85 millimeter spotting scope, and we made an update to our uh, Victory SF line. We, uh, now we've uh, made the uh, smart focus even better, and also we're offering it in black armoring, so really, oh, really, really cool. Okay. We took the world's best binocular and made it even better, so now we think, ah, we are done now, we've got this one nailed, so. <laughs> now I've got you all revved up about the new kit that's being launched, so now is a good time to tell us what's happening next year. Gosh darn it, Charlie, you always do this to me. <laughs> no, we, uh, we have some great products coming. We're looking forward to Iwa. I, I can just tell you, you will be very excited to see what we have. Um, what have you got coming? Oh, Charlie, uh, some great optical instruments, I can tell you this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because you're nice. <laughs> there, will, there will be new rifle scopes, there will be new binoculars, and uh, this, is, this is my little tease for you, so I encourage you to come by the booth so we can finish this part of this conversation. So, uh, yes, so it's not that far away, Iwa, so look for some great stuff coming from Zeiss. Day two and fresh opportunities. After an hour, Paul starts willing the animals to show. There's a roebuck, but they are off the menu. This is when the V8 is a real advantage. You can zoom in and make sure. Traditional British deer stalkers say, don't scope your animal with your scope. At this range, with this backstop and at this speed, you occasionally have to use your scope like binoculars. With the new 404, it comes with the, the tool in the front of the forehand. It's just a simple undo, small screw in the back, and then this moves up and down. You see how easy that was. And then tighten back up. Done. Pop that back in. Also, this model's got uh, four settings on the trigger. Also has two different trigger ang angles. So if you're a left-hander, you can go slightly to the left. And obviously right-hander slightly to the right. And I've got mine straight because that's just the way I like it. A lot of people on the driven as well, they, they like to keep the poundage quite heavy. I'm used to a, a quite a light, light trigger pull on my rifles at home, so I kept it nice and light. Fluted barrel for when you get lots of pigs coming past and the barrels get super hot. Um, another little tip as well, what I do, take the sling off, so then when you're manoeuvring round, you don't catch up on anything. So again, that's, that's one of the worst things, you get tangled up in your sling with your binoculars or something else on the, on the high stand. And on top, we've got Slice Victory V8. Um, it's a 1.8 by 14 mag. Um, 
which is great. We've been really handy for this job because we're not shooting uh, Robux. And um, you can just wind it up to 14 power just to double check it's not a, a Robux that's lost his antlers. Um, then you've got the red dot, brightening. Um, like I say, nice balanced rifle, good scope, good optics on top. It always makes a difference when you, you know, have to react quick um, in, a, in, a, in a fast situation. So all in all, I'm very happy with the, with the outcome of the two days. A boar flies across the ride. Paul manages a shot, but it's a clean miss. And me? Well, what about me? Nope. Niet. Nada. Back on Paul's stand, there's half an hour left and all hell has broken loose in cover about 150 metres away. It looks like the dogs have a boar at bay. Then over the ridge comes a ridgeback. Paul takes an amazing shot at the running boar. It's down and he's delighted. Young Kyler. Um, which I'm over the moon with actually. Really, really, really happy with. Um, good shot, and uh, it's always good to get a kyle on the deck because it's like the bonus. So, yeah, really pleased with that. This is where the ball dropped, and uh, the high seat is the end of the finger, and uh, I paced it out, it was 116 paces, so very happy boy. Pretty bigger down there. <laughs> <laughs> You've got so many ups and downs, and you've got to stay. 110% observant on your psych, edge of your seat all the time, and it's very hard to keep that concentration spell up for that, that length of time. Pushed the boundaries a little bit, but I was confident, I was, I was poised and ready right through it. One year, yes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, one year, maximum two years. Maximum, maximum two years, yeah, yeah. And I tired for 1,5 and so. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's an impressive pig and a memorable climax to the Zeiss Media Hunt 2016. And just in case size is important, it's amazing what you can do. The camera never lies, but it can be awfully gullible. For more information about Zeiss's range of sports optics, go to zeiss.com.